What's up guys welcome back to my channel in today's video uh, i am gonna explain to you guys how to check a relay test a relay and what are my thoughts about testing a relay and uh taking it into consideration this relay can fail many 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 different ways so anyways uh first of all you need to know the diagram of the relay so pretty much uh this is the diagram right here so this is like a magnetic this is a coil which becomes a magnet and it tracks the opposite side to close contact in these two right here. So I'm gonna use another tool here to a uh, pinpoint. So this and this would be these two arms here. We get the bottom one and the top one. So if you give this thing a power and this thing a ground, it should have a magnetic field inside, which will will make these two um complete the contact. So if there's a power here or ground, whatever is controlling, it is gonna pretty much connect from here. It's gonna it's gonna it's going to complete the bridge so these two wires are going to connect and the power should flow or the ground should flow so uh if this is a positive uh, it's controlling positive on this so if there's a positive here it would complete the circuit and positive would go and it would control whatever it wants to control for example it could be ac compressor it could be something else fuel pump anything so this and this let's say if this is positive this and this positive can be shared or if this is positive because they both would just need the same amount of, of positive voltage so two things one thing we want to check here is we want to check the, the the circuit here this winding coil is complete you can also check ohms you need to know the reading what are the ohm reading on this um relay uh, but then i want to talk about how this can fail so pretty much i got my voltmeter set up on uh on a this is, we, we're checking a circuit if it's complete or not so pretty much when these two connect it would beep okay so pretty much what we're gonna do here is we're gonna check this circuit by connecting this and this to see if this thing has continuity okay ah and i got a good connection there but should be a solid beep there let me just see if I could do this with one hand. There you go. We got a solid beep. So if it says open loop, it doesn't beep. That means the winding is broken. And these two, if the relay gets stuck close, you, your compressor fan, whatever, it will run all times. So you do want to check. This should, this should not beep. And it should say complete open loop all times, just like that. So it's open loop. I do got a good contact here. So it is connecting there. So anyways, so I think this middle, middle, um, middle, middle, uh, the middle arm is sharing these two. So if let's say there's a positive in this, they both would have positive. Ah, come on. One hand is never correct to do so. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my camera down here so I can perform this just like that. Whoops. So what we'll do is we'll take this. We'll put this here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to connect this and this. Nothing. See, these two right here are common, okay? They both, if this has positive, this will have positive. If this got negative, this will have negative, okay? And then they will complete the bridge. So these two are good. These two should be open loop. Um, so this relay is perfectly good to me. Um because this really just came out out of a vehicle that um was being junked so we just keep relays so anyways i do wanted to let you guys know if over time this relay would connect disconnect disconnect the arc inside will build carbon where, the, where it makes a connection at so this can uh i had relays i had i have a radiator fan uh, testing relay or video where the fan did have power and everything but it just didn't have enough amperage because the it was carbon built inside it did close loop everything worked and the contact was just super dirty okay sometime i bang on these and it will start to work these can fail different different ways they can heat up and cut off um then they could come on it's called intermittent failure intermittent relay on and off so best thing to do is don't waste your mechanics time i tell people don't waste my time this thing is 20 bucks just buy a new one if you have a doubt you rather just get rid of it and put another one in. I don't do tests. Just to let you go. I don't do tests on these things. I just replace them. And that is the best way to go. Anyway, guys. 
Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. See you guys on the next video. And hopefully I shed some light on you guys at the end of the video, the theme and the moral of this. Just to replace the goddamn thing because you don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars um, misdiagnosing this thing to tell this is bad, this is good. Because um, it can give you good reading at one time. When it heats up, it could give you a bad reading. Um, but it's once... It could have, it could be right now, it could be hot and not giving you no connection. As soon as you remove it, boom, what you did was you banged on it. Pretty much when you remove it, you shook it, it starts to work. So it's going to give you good uh, reading here. It's going to give you good test here. Anyways, replace the damn relay. Thank you for watching my video.